what's going on you guys my name is rage and we are back today with more of a throwback video uh in regards to the new player experience but as well folks that are transitioning from mid game to end game i think now is uh as good of a time as any uh to start be starting not just a new account in marvel strike force but especially with all the recent improvements and updates that we're going to be covering today um i think it's just a phenomenal time right now especially um the catch-up mechanics involved and they've been doing an exceptional job in terms of just you know identifying that there is that mid-tier grind that you need to transition to end game because honestly speaking guys um you know me being situated in end game for years now it's really where the meat and potatoes of the game come right like it's all the new events um the participation of really the end game content and getting the juiciest rewards but at the same time still bolstering your roster getting to the end game as soon as you can is going to give you an avenue of different resources that are just going to help bolster um your growth progression as well as even just the overall enjoyment uh, to the game so having said that guys let's uh you know let's talk about the obvious elephant in the room which is the xp right um they've made a recent update on the marvel strike force now that all accounts up to level 95 are going to get a boost what does this mean well it means if you're starting a new account now or even those that are already existing before level 95 everyone's actually going to get a bonus xp whenever you're leveling up now to get you essentially closer to the next level upon furthering leveling up they were doing previous testing but now it was great to get that clarity in the marvel strike force blog post that it is 100 uh, percent live and in game now so essentially in layman's terms it's easier to level up which i think is the right call because um as these level gaps have gone you know higher and higher they haven't really done anything to improve and st or streamline that mid player experience especially folks that are casual those that aren't logging in every single day although they should to keep the daily objectives alive and this login streak some people just don't have the time right and that's the case um this is kind of a method to really um you know uh cover that gap that that difference between folks that are in the casual transitioning to more of maybe a engaged status and uh it's going to get them there because it's going to bring their levels up a higher commander level means a higher roster level that you can bring up characters making it even easier to unlock and complete content in the game so i think that's huge that it's now universally applied um it's fair unfortunately it w there was some testing and obviously at the end of the day some people are gonna you know feel that frustration that they didn't get that participation or involvement uh, of their account getting that extra bonus but now that it's live and, and in fact everyone's getting the same benefit so um it is what it is they always have to do testing but i'm glad at least we now got some not just verbiage and communication but as well as uh confirmation that it is live and in fact uh in game now Having said that, one of my most favorite game modes that they've introduced in the recent year is actually called uh, the Showcase Events. But as well, um, even if you guys are watching this video uh, months down the road, guys, um, keep in mind every instance in the game, there's always two or three events that are live where it gives you an opportunity to farm energy and so forth. We've kind of seen this occurring in the last few months, and I've been loving it because uh, it creates a um, a unified kind of one glo a glove that fits all for you know folks that are new to the game, those that are situated in mid game or even in the end game. There's something for a little bit of everyone and and i think this is a great way as a catching mechanic because we always knew that there wasn't going to be a way to really infuse everyone resources especially if they weren't playing the game at that time um well now you have these events that are constantly ongoing that's going to give you the kind of what you need because you farm essentially what you need so I'm going to talk uh, real briefly here about the Spire Society Showcase because, again, uh, I love the fact that there's always usually one ongoing dependent on the new team that's coming. Um, so this is obviously a scale raid team. So even in the test drive initially, they let you try out the full five members of the team. But they also reward your character shards too. So if you're brand new and you don't have any characters featured um, for this uh, showcase event... Um, they just give you mission provided characters. So you're just basically getting free character shards that guarantee essentially an along character. After that, it is the story mode where it does require, um, you know, a, a subset or a required team. In this case, Spout Society or Web Slinger characters. And this is the one I do want to focus on because um, this is that attempt to bridge that gap difference to, to trying to get uh, in, implement a catch up mechanic. Because depending on where you are in the game, right? Say, for instance, you're a beginner commander, you can farm you know these blue materials at the very beginning uh say for instance you're transitioning from new to mid game you can farm the purple resources from you know nodes one uh nodes five here all the way to essentially nodes uh eight involving that is really where you start kind of the early end game push um you know the gear tier 13 14 and beyond where you need orange gear and they also added that as well and then finally um at the very end they do have teal gear if you can only um you know maximize your progression through the story mode but even further than that guys is when they've added the aspect for end game players like myself 
there's a challenge aspect here where you do actually need um you know the specific featured characters in this case i need to unlock peter b parker to go forward with this but i said eventually i will if i'm able to in this uh, showcase timing and then get more further rewards and then finally um this is for all the you know probably the spenders out there that already have these characters unlocked but you need them at uh, certain gear tier levels and star requirements uh so i'm not able to participate in this because i obviously don't have the fully built spire society at gear tier 16 six yellow stars but again whales and krakens will have that so they're going to get an opportunity for these rewards so i just love the fact that it does get tailored to each and every single type of player in the game and that's created a, a wealth of um not just uh uh, a resource for us to accumulate but as well just options for people um, depending on where you kind of are in the game absolutely huge guys uh, they've added you know not showcase events but these events over time as well we have the age of x and we have unstoppable dead but it's again another opportunity to accumulate resources because we each and every one of these events built similar format to what we've seen in the showcase which is they have a story mode and then they follow that up with either a moderate or secondary uh, level difficulty and then finally the bonus is typically tailored for spenders right so they, they need to keep doing this because it just constantly creates another avenue and the best part about all that i just mentioned is it goes back to exp again you know we're talking about leveling our characters up leveling our roster up well each and every one of those game modes that they've added now um, adds additional xp and it just helps everyone across the board to get that progression level even faster and i think that's really been kind of the the big highlight in, in the recent updates to say the least i i also want to point out guys reworks have been absolutely phenomenal so uh what i have on screen here is basically the last three four teams that we've had either reworked or added into the game so as you can see i just selected all the ones that were og uh previously already in game so we got characters like gambit uh cyclops being part of extreme captain america carter part of out of time uh carnage venom being part of hive mind we got characters like vulture part of that huge massive sinister six rework ghost spider spider-man noir now being part of spot society and namor being part of cabal um they're making these irrelevant characters that have not been used for years um you know more recently obviously so gambit was part of uh the unlimited x-men but aside from that many of these tunes have not been used and guess what Due to the recent reworks, they are once again relevant again, and arguably some of them are even the best in the game now. So uh, they need to keep doing this up uh, because obviously with the past teams that we've seen in reworks too, we don't see this sizable of an adjustment, but as of late with these new teams, they've been made more relevant. Uh, they've been made more useful outside of even just their intended game mode. So hopefully they keep doing this because that's absolutely huge. And then finally, guys, um, I think the big one as well is farmability. I mean, we've seen this across the board couple weeks back they completely refreshed the entire store here of how certain characters are kind of getting unlocked and so forth but um they have not been shy to add newer characters and teams into um the orbs now as of late right so for example i think yeah spider slayer is part of the new sinister six superior six team and now he's a blitz orb right we have craven being part of the new sinister superior six and even uh characters limit as big time spider-man getting added to raids so i mean they're they're doing a really good job of just making characters that you know are actually very powerful being relevant and, and and getting added into a farmable manner which has been huge and then on top of that um you know obviously the big one for us is like because especially if you guys are uh players that have been in the game for three or four, three four years plus like myself i know the one big thing was like them just adding more character shards right like it used to be you know two shards uh per farm node right now you can get uh, the minimum of four if you do land the, the the character farm ability i think that's huge honestly just it helps everything with just progressing the right direction getting the character unlock as soon as possible so that way you can actually build them up and again that attention to detail just building up rosters and characters and teams that are relevant outside of their intended game mode so that way players are getting more value at the end of the day um and yeah that's that's huge guys so uh hopefully um these are the, some some of the biggest wins i've seen so far guys but this is why i think it's a great opportunity to start marvel strike force or to at least be more engaged because uh it's exciting that all this feedback has been listened to and um you know one of the most uh worst things and then one of the worst experiences in this game was the mid game and they've almost completely eliminated that with all the different catch-up mechanics involved and xp boost uh to all accounts up to level 95 so hopefully this helps you guys hopefully if you're watching this and you're thinking about returning well uh i think it's a great time guys if there's any time to return right now it's best to maximize this so do let me know what you think in the comments below thank you for your time as always and i'll catch you guys in the next one